द क्वेश्चन इज फॉलोइंग इज द ट्रायल बैलेंस ऑफ क्रिशन ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन प्रिपेयर ट्रेडिंग एंड प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट एंड बैलेंस शीट आफ्टर मेकिंग द फॉलोइंग एडजस्टमेंट देर आर सिक्स थिंग्स आर गिविन एडजस्टमेंट आर गिविन एंड ट्रायल बैलेंस इज गिविन वी हैव टू ड्रॉ द फॉर्मैट इन द बुक्स ऑफ क्रिशन ट्रेडिंग एंड प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट फॉर द इयर एंड डेट थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन डेबिट एंड क्रेडिट साइड विल बी देयर राइट इन द ट्रेडिंग अकाउंट क्रेडिट साइड बाय सेल्स रुपीज टू लाख फोर्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड फिफ्टी लेस सेल्स रिटर्न दैट इज रुपीज थ्री वन सेवन जीरो आफ्टर डिडक्टिंग दिस राइट डाउन इन द फाइनल कॉलम रुपीज टू लाख फोर्टी थ्री थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड सिक्स Six hundred eighty rupees. Then by closing stock rupees twenty nine thousand six hundred thirty eight. This is an adjustment. All adjustments are recorded twice, either in trading or profit and loss or balance sheet. Next one is your opening stock rupees thirty four thousand one hundred seventy. Then to purchases rupees ninety seven thousand one hundred sixty five. Less purchases return rupees one one four zero. After deducting this, we will be getting rupees ninety six thousand zero two five. Then to manufacturing wages rupees thirty four thousand nine hundred sixty five. To freight on purchases rupees one nine eight zero. Then to manufacturing expenses that is rupees nine four five five. To fuel and power, that is rupees one two seven six. Next one is to electricity factory, that is rupees nine eighty six. Because this relates to factory, fuel and power also not used in office. It is used in factory or in manufacturing. Then next one is to insurance and taxes only factory factory portion. Then a rent of of the factory that is rupees one four four zero. Then to general expenses which relates to this manufacturing that is rupees four eight double zero. You can see this the adjustment five three fifth of insurance and taxes and rent and general expenses are to be charged to factory and the balance one minus three fifth that is two fifth to the office. Then three fifth for the factory and two fifth for the office. Then the credit side is having higher value. We have to total from that side. That is two lakh seventy three thousand three hundred eighteen. That will be taken to the debit side. We have to find the gap or difference to gross profit carried down. That is rupees eighty six thousand zero one zero. Then your profit and loss account by gross profit brought down rupees eighty six thousand zero one zero. Then by old provision for bad debt six thousand because old provision is higher than the new provision and bad debt. Hence in the heads of accounts under the head credit side of this trial balance we have provision for doubtful debts rupees six thousand that is rupees six thousand plus new provision for bad debt rupees nine three nine zero seven this three nine zero seven is. Your bad debt provide five percent for doubtful debts on debtors. Hence, we have to find five percent on debtors. That is rupees three nine zero seven. And in the final column, we have to write down rupees two zero nine three. Then this is old provision, less new provision. If new provision is high, is bigger than the old provision, then the same treatment will be done in the debit side. New provision for bad debt, less old provision for bad debt. Then to salaries rupees ten thousand one hundred thirty five rupees. Then to freight and sales rupees two one five zero. To electricity for office one fifth that is rupees one five double zero. To insurance and taxes that is four one seven five. Less prepaid insurance three hundred. Then whatever is less prepaid taxes. This prepaid insurance and prepaid taxes you can see in this adjustment number four. Prepaid expenses, insurance three hundred, taxes one ninety. Then after deducting this, we will be getting three six eight five. Less for factory three fifth two two one five. 
and the rest two fifth that will be shown in the final column as rupees one four seven four. The next one is to rent rupees two four double zero less for factory expenses that is three fourth. If you deduct, we will be getting three fifth. If you will be deducting, we will be getting two fifth, which will be shown in the final column. That is rupees nine hundred sixty. Next one is to stable expenses. That is rupees two four seven three, say fixed expenses relating to office. Then that is rupees two four seven three. Next one is to general expenses rupees eight eight thousand less for factory expenses. That is three fifth, and uh, that is eight thousand into three fifth is equal to rupees four eight zero zero. By mistake, it is one four zero zero one four four zero. This should be. Four eight double zero. Then we will have two fifth in the final column. That is rupees thirty two hundred. Next one is to bad debts rupees one four eight five given in the trial balance debit side. Next one is our uh, insurance and bank charges. That is rupees four hundred seventy five to depreciation on. This is plant and machinery, which is as per adjustment to it is ten percent of the value. Of plant and machinery, then furniture five percent of the value is rupees four thousand, and for delivery one it is written in the question adjustment second part two, that is four thousand. This is delivery one is rupees four thousand. Then furniture is four seventy four, and this horse and carts are delivery one. It is uh, here you can see this is. On delivery van, that is rupees four thousand directly written. We have by mistake written it horse and carts. Please write down delivery van that is four thousand. And in the final column we have total depreciation rupees six double four six. Next one is a totaling of the credit side. Then write down it in the debit side that is rupees eighty eight thousand one zero three. Find the difference to Net profit carried down rupees fifty seven thousand eight zero five. This is before commission. Then by net profit brought down that is fifty seven eight zero five. I have distinguished it for easiness in calculating the manager's commission. Then to manager's commission or outstanding manager's commission. Here the last adjustment is sixth part. Commission to manager are ten percent on net profit. On the net profit, we have not find out the net profit, final net profit. Hence, after deducting this commission, we can get net profit. Hence, before finding out net profit, if we are calculating commission, it will be ten by hundred ten. Whatever net profit will be there, it's ten by hundred will be five two two five. See, write down the credit side fifty seven eight five both in the credit and debit side. Then deduct five two five five. We will be finding. Two balance carried down. That is rupees fifty two thousand five five zero. This fifty seven thousand eight zero five minus five two five five. The difference will be rupees fifty two thousand double five zero. This is net profit after charging commission. This net profits ten percent is five two double five, and this is the final answer. For the profit and loss account, then get down to the balance sheet. Balance sheet as at thirty first March two thousand sixteen. Liabilities rupees, assets rupees, and in the asset side we will have current assets that is cash rupees one hundred forty five, bank balance seven five four zero rupees, prepaid insurance rupees three hundred, prepaid taxes rupees one hundred ninety, then debtors rupees seventy eight thousand one hundred forty. Less new provision for bad debts that is rupees three nine zero seven, and in the final column we will have rupees seventy four thousand two hundred thirty three. Then your closing stock that is rupees twenty nine thousand six hundred thirty eight. Next one is fixed assets that is plant and machinery rupees nineteen thousand seven hundred twenty. Then less depreciation rupees one nine seven two. In the final column, we will have 
for rupees seventeen thousand seven four eight. Next one is furniture rupees nine four eight zero. Less depreciation five percent that is rupees four seventy four. In the final column it will be rupees nine thousand six. Then delivery van rupees five one six five five. And less depreciation that is less depreciation that is four thousand directly given in the question. The amount already calculated and shown. We have to deduct four thousand and so in the final column, rupees one one six five. Then building rupees twenty eight thousand non depreciation. Then goodwill rupees thirty thousand. And total of the assets side of the balance sheet is rupees one lakh ninety seven thousand nine hundred sixty five. Then in the liability side we will have current liabilities, creditors rupees fifty thousand one hundred sixty rupees, outstanding managers commission rupees five two five five, long term liabilities and capital is bank loan rupees ten thousand, capital rupees eighty thousand, and net profit rupees fifty two thousand five five zero. And in the final column, we will have rupees one lakh thirty two thousand five hundred fifty, and the totaling of the liability side is rupees one lakh ninety seven thousand nine hundred sixty five. This is the final answer.